Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If you invest in Yield Max ETF, or are you planning to invest in Yield Max ETF, then this is a must watch video for you. And the reason I'm saying it's, it's a must watch video for you is because if you go to Yield Max ETF website, there are 34 different ETFs, 34, and it keep getting bigger and bigger every day. So now to making a decision, which one to buy and hold, is a tough one. And if you look at some of these number, distribution rate, 30 day SEC yield, this number is hard to correlate that with the rate of return. And I will show you in a minute with my calculation. So what I plan to do in this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis of all 34 of this ETF and see which one truly deliver it, which one give the most return on our uh, investment. That's all we want, right? When we put our money, hard earned money, we want to get the most out of it. Every single penny that we can get, we would like to get it. At least I like to get it. So before I go into the video, just one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. As you will see in the video that it takes a lot of effort to make this uh, video. I have to do a lot of research, calculation. I spend a lot of time doing that. So, you know, so if you subscribe it, it will be much appreciated. I'm in a mission to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. I'm halfway there, actually. I'm almost like, you know, 450 plus. So, so please help me reach my goal. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. What I do is I do the mathematical analysis. I do calculation, and based on that, we determine, okay, which one is performing and which one does not perform it. So let's get started. Let's do this. So if you go to Yieldmax ETF, yieldmaxetf.com, on the front page, you will see the list of all the current ETF that they have. Right? The first one was Tesla, Apple, NVD, and going on and on and on and on and on. And on right? So you have this, the sticker symbol for ETF. And what, what it means and, you know, what the reference is talking and all those things. So let's do this. I'm going to take this, all this, and download it into the Google spreadsheet. So this is what I did, right? So I, I uploaded it over here or transferred it. So there are 34 of this. Now, a couple of things you need to look at, okay? Now, every single one of them, if you look at it, is a single stock ETF. What that means is Tesla reference is Tesla. NVIDIA reference is NVIDIA. But there were some new... ETF that was added. Now, the one that's highlighted in dark yellow is not a single stock ETF. It's a multiple. Like YMAG is for the Magnificent 7. And Ulti, which is another popular one, is a, it's an actually multiple stocks. And you see that distribution rate is so high, but you will see during my analysis that this does not correlate. And, you know, and the, some of those I highlighted as yellow, those are the ones that is the short, right? CRSH is a short for Tesla, Fiat is a short for Coin, Dips is a short for Nvidia, and, and then so on, so on. So I actually uploaded all 34 of these, and let's do some analysis and see how does that perform. So for the sake of demonstration, let me pick NVDY. It's one of the hottest ones, and see how we did the calculation. So I'm, obviously, I'm not going to do the calculation for all 34 of this over here. I, have did, I did it in the background. If I do that all in front of the, in this video, it's going to take forever. And you certainly do not want to watch five hours video, right? So I would like to make it as short as possible. Okay, so anyway, let's start with NVDY. So here it is, NVDY. Yeah. So what I'm going to do over here is, let's go to NVDY. This is the monthly distribution that was paid, right? For the month of January, February, March. And this is the distribution amount that was paid. Now, the other thing you want to look at it, the fund was started on May 2023, almost like a month, an year and a half old ETF, right? The other thing that most people comment on that is, oh, I did not uh, did the NAV calculation. So, but if you look at all these ETF, you go to Yield Max ETF and click on any fund, you see that NAV is very close to the closing price. In this case, actually, it's the same, but there's hardly a few cents difference. So. It's not going to make a big difference in the calculation. So I'm just going to use the stock price or the closing price for calculation. So here it is why I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is since I'm going to, I'm doing the calculation for air to date, right? From beginning of the year, 
So, so I'll take this from here. Look, here, this is here you go from January, right? So this is from the January to one. Well, I'm gonna put transfer over here. Let's go to NVD. Why? I'm gonna let's do this. So I transferred it over here, right? So if you now if you look at that, and then for the sake of calculation, I put that into the Excel format, right? So this is the month and this is the dividend that was paid. You, you can see it from here or you can actually go to the yield max website and take a look at it. So if I add all these things together, if you add all these, it comes to $17.33. So from January 2nd, that was the first trading day for here, till today, October 15, total dividend paid was $17.33. Now, okay. now let's take a look at what the price of NVDY was on the first trading day of the year and what is the price of that today so let's go to i like to use yahoo because when i go to yahoo i can use the historical data easy to look at it okay so let's take a look at the, this is nvdy right this is nvdi nvdy so the first trading day of the year was january 2 here it is january 2 2024 the price was 22 dollars 30 cents so here it is let's put 22 dollars 13 cents now if I invested $5,000 and the stock price is $22.13, with that, I can buy 226 ETF of NVDY. Now, let's, today, I still have that one. So, let's take a look at today price. So, today price is, well, here you go, 24.47, 24.47, 24 Okay. So, now, what does that mean, right? So, let's take a look. Let's do this here. Let's move this over. So here it is. So since I earn seventeen dollar thirty three cents on every single one of them, and I own two hundred and twenty six of those, so what that means is the total dividend earned is seventeen thirty three multiplied by two twenty five, three thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollar. So if I bought NVD at the beginning of the year, and I kept it as of today, for five thousand dollar invested. I earn $3,900 in distribution, right? Now look at the value of the stock, what it is, right? So the value of the stock today is $24.40, the stock price. And I have 226 in my portfolio. So that is $55.28.69. So if I add the value of the stock, add that to the dividend earned, $94.44. What does that mean? $5,000 invested in NVDY at the beginning of the year, January 2 is worth $9,444. Since I invested $5,000, so that means it's a gain of $44.44, and which comes out to like almost like 89%. So is it clear? All right, so i give you an example. So I'm gonna use the same methodology, same steps for every single one of them, all 34 of these, and obviously I'm not gonna do it over here, I'm just gonna demonstrate it over here. So let's take a look over here. Let's so let's hide this one so I can look at this. I don't need to worry about this one, this one. Let's say hide this one. I don't care of this one. And I need to, let's see, look at the hide this here. Let's hide there. Okay. I think, I'm not sure if it's well. Actually, if you look, the expenses ratio is pretty much same. Let me hide this one too. Hide this one. And... So I'm investing $5,000 in every single one of them. So let's hide this one too. So we can actually, this is hide that 5,000. So I can see that every, every, all of them very clearly. So let's take, what else can I hide? All right, let's hide this one too. Okay, let's hide this one too. Oh, well, actually let's hide this. this should be, well, let's hide this too. All right, so, so I'll hide all, I hide all the necessary column. So here it is, right? So these are the 34 of this ETF that's current, right? Now for each symbol, no. So at the beginning of the year, if you go back, like, let's take a, let's take an example of one more, like Tesla, right? The price of Tesla on the January 2 was, you, you can go to Yahoo, look at Tesla. And looking over here, let's take a look at the, the historical data, right? January 2. January 2, the price was 2396, 2396, right? Now, same way if you go to yield max ETF over here, 
you go over here. Let's go look at the test tree, yield max ETF. Okay, test tree. All right, so looking at the test tree over here. Okay, so this is the dividend that was paid on a monthly basis. That's right? so from January to October. If you add all this up, right, it will come up to eleven dollars thirty-three cents. Right? So what that means is, okay, what is the on what the price of uh, Tesla today is ten fifteen over here. Let's take a look over here. Ten fifteen eleven thirty three right, eleven thirty three. All right. So what is the current value? Is the today's stock price multiply with number of here I have right two three six four. How much dividend I earn? The eleven thirty three one of them and then total number I have this one right. No, so if you add this, these two current ETF value plus the dividend earned, if you add both of them over here, right? I mean, says this one plus this one, four seven two eight point seven one. No, I invested five thousand dollars on every single one of them. So what that means is, I'm losing two hundred and seventy one dollar twenty nine cents over here, right? So that I showed you NVD, right? How I calculated with that. So. So I went to the same process for every single one of them, for all 34 of those, and then came up with this number. Now let's take a look over here, and then let's sort this over here, right? Let's sort this from. Let's do the gain for the now. If you look at that, right? Let's take a look at that. Right uh, column. So, Misty MSTY, right? If I invested five thousand dollar on MSTY, either at the beginning of the year or when the fund was started on 2024, five thousand dollar invested on MSTY is equal to ten thousand three hundred and twenty dollars, which is a gain of over hundred percent. MSTY is actually the reference stock is MSTR, which is a proxy for Bitcoin. So you know, since Bitcoin is very volatile, so MSTY is actually the volatility is actually generate a lot of income on MSTY, right? NVDY is second highest. Now, here's what I was trying to tell you. If you look at the distribution rate, simply because an ETF has a higher distribution rate doesn't mean it's going to generate the most income. So if you look at that, I actually, I sorted it out for you, right? So the top five, one of them is Misty, NVD, Netflix, Facebook, and PayPal. These are the five top generating ETFs. Now, on the low end, right, if you look at the top bottom one, well, plenty, plenty here and SMCY is a new one. There's no distribution yet on that. If you look at that, Madonna, AI, Viva, Dips, Crush, Test, even Tesla, right? Tesla is one of the popular ones. Is actually losing money. So Tesla and LT both are actually losing money. If you invested five thousand dollars in Tesla, you lost money. If you invested five thousand dollars in LT, you lost money. So let me ask you a question: Which one would you like to invest? Either the one that generate the most income or the, the one that uh, is very popular but does not generate income like tesla is very popular alt is very popular but if you look at the the income that does not generate income actually you're losing money on this so for me i like to do this calculation because i know which one is performing so i like to invest my money into the one that is generating more income so i hope you can learn something from from this one if you do please share subscribe like comment you know, so when I have a new video, you get notified as soon as the new video is released. So till the next video, thank you so much for watching and see you soon with some other videos.